It's a fairly monumental day on this renovation project. We're ready for carpets. Hi folks, welcome back to our 1920s renovation project that we thought we would take you through every nitty gritty little detail of everything that we're doing on a project like this. And we've reached a monumental stage and you can kind of tell about how echoey this room is. And we are ready for carpets. So I was gonna take you through just some of the preparations and also give you a bit of a sneak peek of how the place is now looking. Believe it or not, we're moving in in like a week's time and uh, there's still a lot to do. We don't have a bathroom yet, but uh, we'll do that once the carpets are in. I've made a, a good kind of head start. I'll show you around, show you the place. I've got kind of half an hour to spare before the carpet fitters turn up. I'll go out, let them just crack on, and then hopefully by the end of it all, we'll have a freshly carpeted house. And I'm not gonna show you the freshly carpeted house because we're gonna save that as a bit of a reveal once we've got all our furniture in and the place is looking a bit nicer because this is gonna be the last time you get to see this place before the place is kind of finished. But what I did want to do is just give you a few tips as to what to prepare for when you're waiting on new flooring to go down, especially in the case of carpets. Just a few of the things that we've ended up doing, just getting everything ready. And this is one of the key things with a successful development like this or a successful renovation like this, is that you've got to be ready for the trades when they arrive doesn't matter how many late nights you put in, if you've got a trade person turning up to do a job and you're not ready, they're well within the rights to just walk off and you could be, at the moment, you could be waiting months and months to find another trades person to replace that person who you've lost. So it's really quite essential that you're on the ball with certain key dates in your project and you're, you're aiming to those kind of milestones. So it's early on a Monday morning at the minute. We were in, me and Mrs. Mack were in on Sunday. Yesterday, bless her, Mrs. Mack had only just done the Macmillan's uh, Mighty Hike walk the day before, 26 mile full marathon walk. By the way, if the carpets turn up while I'm filming, I'm gonna have to down tools and uh, finish this off another time. But yeah, so Mrs. Mark had done the mighty hike with uh, my son, with Mr. Mark Jr. And they've, uh, they're 26 miles, you know, it's a full marathon, but as a walk. But it was on like the hottest day of the year, I think it was like 30 odd degrees up in the northeast of England, which is hot for up here. It's rare that it gets up to that kind of temperature up in the northeast, but they did that full walk, the feet covered in blisters and everything. And then she was out here helping me yesterday, cleaning up, doing the final cleanup, full hoovering from top to bottom. This house is now a clean zone. For the first time ever, this house is a clean zone and it needs to stay clean now for the rest of this renovation. As you can see, We've still got, a, this is our temporary kitchen. To be fair, it's the best temporary kitchen we've ever had on a renovation. Bearing in mind, this is gonna become a corridor and a utility room. This is just to get us by until we start on the main building work out the back. The extension out the back, by the way, I will do a separate update all about that, but we've had a lot of planning delays for no, no issues on our side or anything like that, but it's just stuff took a long time to go through, an unusually long time to go through but it's all gone through now. We're now waiting on a party wall award to go through so we can sort that side of things out and then we can crack on with the extension. So unfortunately, there's been delays on that side. Not a lot we can do about that, but it has allowed us to just crack on with the main renovation. As you can see in this room, living room, the walls are all misted in this room. We did want to get all the misting done before carpets because mist coat can be quite messy. Uh, again, Mrs. Mack did all of the painting. So she's done all of the mist coats in every room, all of the top coats in every room. Some rooms have now had two top coats, uh, others have only had one, and this room is the only room that hasn't had any top coat. This is just the mist coat in this room. But as I say, we wanted to get, we just ran out of time really. It would be nice to have the whole house 
fully decorated before carpets go in, but sometimes that's just not an option. So just to give you an idea, obviously we've got cables coming up through the floor, but I've made sure that any cables, well, the only cables coming up through the floor are in the corner here. So there'll need to be one little neat cut in the carpet there. Uh, but other than that, these are through the skirting board. What I might do is tie, if I've got time, I might tie those up just to keep them out the road of the carpet fitter. You know, anything you can do to make their life easier, it means they'll be done and dusted quicker. We did have some issues with uh, the skirting boards falling off the walls with the rubbish glues. We've still got some spiders, daddy long legs. <laughs> Look at them. Honestly, but there's been so many daddy long legs. I think because the house had been left effectively derelict for so long, spiders had just taken over, but only daddy long legs. That, that's the only spiders that we've seen. We haven't seen any big spiders or anything. Um, there's just hundreds of daddy long legs, but we're getting on top of it. We're, we're pretty much at the point where <laughs> they've got nowhere to run now. They, they can't really get under the floor anymore because that's all down. As I say, anything where there's cables lying around here, there's nowhere really to tie this one up. So aerial cables just gonna have to sit there. We don't use an aerial anyway. That's another whole story. We don't watch normal TV ever. Um, again, cables through there and just do a quick little slice at the back of the carpet there. Here, I've got speaker cables that are poked through. Again, there's nowhere to tie those up. But in the hallway, obviously I've disconnected all the internet and all of the structured cabling is gonna come through a unit in the back here. The fiber, look, here's the fiber cable from the, um, from the studio room, ready to connect up. It's survived this long. I don't want it getting damaged now. So that is tied up out of the road. Same with phone cable and a cable cable, like internet cable, which is fiber. Fiber to the premises and then coax from the front of the house under the floor over to here. And uh, yeah, they're just tied up out the road of the carpet fitter, make the carpet fitter's life a bit easier. He's got a whole house to do. In here, in the dining room, I've put, we will be doing a kind of hearth thing around the fire. Again, I haven't had time to do it, but you need a point that you can fit the carpet up to. So I've fitted an oak frame around there. The hearth will go on top of that oak frame. And that's, again, just ready for the carpet fitter to fit around that oak frame that's in. All the skirtings are in, all the skirtings that were falling off are reattached. We've got no leaks on the central heating. All the floors have had, a, uh, as I say, Mrs. Mark, absolute trooper. Uh, honestly, amazing work that she's done. So much on this project. There's so much stuff that you don't see that she does. Mrs. Mack and Mr. Mack and Mrs. Mack Jr. as well. You're all amazing on this project. There's been so much work that everyone's put into this to get it to where it is now. To the point that we're at, we've got a clean house. You know, <laughs> this is the first time since buying it that you could class this as being a clean house. So yeah, all the floors, all the skirtings, everything at carpet level has had a really good clean down. Well, in fact, everything really, all the windows are cleaned, all the window sills are cleaned. There's still a lot of little jobs to do. They uh, still need to prime and top coat the window sills. There'll be trim going around the back here that'll cover up this gap at the back. Just normal stuff, but you can't put the trim on until it's painted and we haven't painted that yet. Quite a lot of fillering and stuff to do. The doors, by the way, we're gonna treat as a completely separate project. We've just run out of time and it's gonna be much easier to take these off, do each door properly in the workshop, you know, take it to bits, take the panels off, give a nice clean down, it'll all need sanded, filled and all sorts. So rather than mucking the house up, we'll simply take the doors off, take them down to the workshop one by one and clean them up. So yeah, as well as hoovering all the floors, the floors have all been washed as well. Everything's had a good mop down. No dust, no bits of floorboard that are loose. All the floors have been checked for squeaks. That there's just, everything is totally solid. You know, I've had a really good walk around every square inch of every room, looking for anything now that feels like it's got any give to it or it, it's got the potential to squeak. If it does squeak, I've fixed it, taken the board up, 
caught fixed, like, you know, if you've just got two bits of flooring that are rubbing on each other, they're just a bit too close together, trimmed them down a bit, reattached them, screwed them down to sort the squeaks out. Heading upstairs, all of the primering is done. Well, I haven't done top coat on any of the woodwork yet, but all the primering is done. Two coats of primer on everything because it was going over quite a dark brown. And that is really painted right down into the corners of everything because obviously once the carpet's in, you don't want to see any of that like horrible um, old, whatever it was, a scumble or whatever it was that was used as that paint effect before, which we've got rid of, but we are keeping the original handrail. So we'll, we'll give that a good clean up, wax it and whatnot. And that look, this has only had one coat of primer you can see because of the wood being such a dark brown you can see the difference between that's had one coat that's had two coats but we've tried to coat everything at carpet level with two coats so that it's just ready for a quick coat of gloss and that's us all all ready we can do the glossing we can mask it off it's going to be a lot of masking and dust sheets to use once the carpet's going because obviously we need to keep the place nice and clean. The window cut out, we're still waiting on the window to get fitted here, but the window itself, everything on the internal side is done. So it's all plastered out and they'll put the window in from the front. They'll put a trim over the, the kind of edgy bits and then that'll be it. So there should be nothing messy to do on the inside. We'll still put dust sheets down in that obviously, and we'll still need to put a window sill in, but Really, all the messy stuff to do with this window is already done. All the corking's done. Everything sanding related's done. Don't know what's happened to that. But there's still a lot of final prep to do. But we've got we've got a week, but <laughs> a week until we move in. And this is currently our bathroom. So yeah, this is once the carpets are in, I'm going to be a hundred percent working on getting this bathroom done. It should be okay as long as we don't run into any major problems. All the first fix, plumbing's kind of in, the waste plumbing's in down the bottom there, the framework for the tray is built, the back wall's built, so that's ready to board out. Prime that wall, tile it, tile back the boards on that wall, get it all sealed, tray in, blah, blah, blah. The functional shower is one of the most important things because we've got a toilet, so if the toilet's not fitted in time, we'll, we'll survive but will not survive without a shower. So, as I say, this is gonna be kind of the main job to get done after the carpets are in. It would have been nice to have that done before the carpets were in, but again, time-wise, just completely run out of time. And again, up here, all the floors, mopped, hoovered, all of the skirtings cleaned, all of the coatings done in this room. And uh, again, I've tied up wires where possible to keep them out the road of the carpet fit there. I've marked up along this edge here where there's pipes under the floor just because they are pretty much exactly where gripper rods are going to go. Just to be on a safe side, just on the off chance, you know, he finds a gripper rod that won't go in and he decides to use a screw instead or something weird like that. So I have marked up just for that edge where the pipes are over there and we've also got structured cabling and whatnot. Everything tied up. This is for the projector. I've already made a video about that. And uh, yeah, everything else up here. The doors need a clean up again. I'll take those all off and do them in the workshop, strip them down properly and uh, get them looking really nice. And then I don't have to worry about making a mess in the house while doing those. You know, it's just final. Some of the gaps are so small that paint will fill them you know you've got to make a judgment call on some of the gaps that once you've done two coats of primer and top coat of gloss or whatever you're doing that in itself is enough to fill some of the little tiny little hairline cracks but some of them are going to need a, a little bit of cork and window sills all need to be done in here as well same as downstairs but other than that it's an immaculately clean room ready for the carpets and yeah, one other thing in this room, just around the fireplace here, I did have to scribe this skirting board to the floor, but I also had to take out this back row of tiles. So I've just put a little bit of mortar along that edge just to kind of tidy things up. So I've got a nice 
surface for the gripper rods to sit on. I don't know if they would glue those down or, or what, it's up to the carpet fitter, but either way, you don't want to leave rubbly concrete at the back there when you're trying to fit a carpet. And we're going to say goodbye to this now until we've moved in and you get to see the place completely finished. Sorry folks, I don't like keeping you on a cliffhanger, but at the same time, I think for something like this, it's worth it. You get to see the place once all the furniture is in and all the lighting's sorted and everything is done on phase one. Phase two will be the extension and everything related to that side of things. And that will be starting up more or less immediately after we've moved in. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button. Remember there's extra stuff over on the member zone as well. I'm doing a full breakdown of the current plans and I'm also doing a full budget breakdown of everything we've spent on this project to date because you wouldn't believe it. All we have done is make the house livable. I would say we've brought the place up to the standard of a basic new build where insulation sorted, we've got all the skirtings, architraves all sorted, we've got new water supply, new gas, electrics are all sorted out, new consumer unit, we've got the stove in, loads of other jobs. I'll, I'll take you through that in a separate video as well where we discuss what we've done to date. Oh, phone could be carpet related. That was the call. The carpet fitter is on his way along with a lot of carpets. I'm gonna make myself scarce while he's doing all of the carpet fitting. The carpet fitting itself, it's an art. I wish I could film it, but I don't know him from Adam and uh, I don't really want to shove a camera in his face. I wanna let him get on with the job, but I'll show you all, as I say, in the next video. Once we've moved in and we've got all our furniture in and the place is looking a little bit more finished. For now, folks, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. Take care. Any questions, comments, or anything like that, pop them down below. I shall see you next time. Tatty bye.